at the end of the day, it's ours now. What would you say, Jane? Well, you wanted to get the house so we could have a better life, didn't you? Yeah. Wouldn't have to scrimp and scrape. That's it, yeah. Graham is buried in London. Well, I used to go over there about once a week and put some flowers on and tidy the, the marble up and all that. Then when I moved away, I couldn't do that. So I'm doing it with Lucas, my little grandson that we lost, instead of Graham, I suppose. And we've booked our own funerals as well. And I must have thought we were so mean. I said we wanted the cheapest coffin, no frills, no handles, no service. And he was going, yes, yes, yes. And that was the cheapest way of doing it. And that would have saved a lot of money because the price of funerals are going up all the time. Scrooge is one of my heroes. It's a favourite story of mine. And the whole point of that was that he was seen by someone who would talk sensibly to him, probably for the first time. Isn't that what's happened here? I, I really do think that it, it was nice for someone to make suggestions, almost orders, really, under a trance in a very nice way. Nobody has ever told me to my face that I should stop doing that and feel happy about paying bills. Nobody's ever done that. When was the last time you were in a pub? Oh, two or three years ago. <laughs> About five or six years ago. Would, would you be able to would you bring yourself to buy, to buy a drink now? Let me think about it. Um, I wouldn't want to buy a drink for everybody here. I might buy a drink for one or two people. Yeah, I feel all right about that. Would you buy a drink for me? Uh, yes, as long as, you know, you didn't want a double whiskey. No, just a pint. <laughs> Buy a pint for you, yeah. Pint a bit, please. Worthington? Worthington will do fine. Lovely. 220, 220. Thank you very much. Are you not having one yourself? How's that? No, the cure's not that good. <laughs> I saved for ten years for this house. Ten years it took me to save for this house. I mean, how many people can you say own their own house outright? And we worked hard for it. We worked hard for it. But it, it did cause a lot of stress. Well, I'm feeling stressful now, actually. But... What worries me is, is it, is it going to get worse as he gets older? You know, if, it's, if we can laugh about it, joke about it, and, and he, he can talk about it, it's not sort of a hidden thing. So I'm hoping that it will get better as he gets older, but there's always a potential that it could, it could get worse as he gets older. But I don't think he'll ever go over the top. I don't think he'll ever, he'll ever get himself into debt or... or no, I don't think he'll ever get into trouble. He'll never be a big spender. No. He never will. I don't dream of playing on Glastonbury because I don't want that dream to come true. Because once I've done it, I've done it. Like, what's, there, what's next to do, sort of thing. Do you like your life as it is now? Yeah, it's brilliant though, yeah. So, cause I'm, just, I'm out in the country and, you know, I can just go outside and go on the trampoline or, and I've got, you know, wonderful parents, so, yeah. So. Couldn't ask for anything better, to be honest.
Tomorrow at 7.45 here on 3 we have Reading and Leeds coverage until 10. Then after EastEnders at 10.30 we're back with the festival in Franz Ferdinand. But next, another chance to see little Miss Jocelyn.